Hello, it's Annette with a fun watercolor card video tutorial for you. I'm so happy that you joined me. I printed a template from Pinterest and I copied to watercolor paper using, my, using the light of my iPad, but putting against the window is also a good option. Copy it with light hand so you can erase it later without leaving a mark. I am drawing over the lines with masking fluid for watercolor techniques. This masking fluid is removable after drying. I can watercolor over it and the area under the dried fluid stays dry. It works as a resist. There are different kinds of masking fluids on the market. This one is great as it has a fine liner tip and I can draw with it. It has a bad odor, a really, really bad odor. So don't sniff it closely, but it's really nothing at all. Don't bother if the lines are not even and the fluid makes little blobs. Hold the putter light and don't push the tip to the paper. It takes practice to draw it easily, but it is fun, believe me. I make a second card. Remember, I am working on a watercolor paper. Here I am drawing freehand, but do nothing fancy, just more or less straight lines. I create triangles with lines. Smaller ones on the right side and larger ones on the left side. If the line is too thin, you can go over it again to thicken it a bit. The dried masking fluid also creates a barrier, so if you, if you watercolor, it helps to prevent the colors from mixing. When you are finished, put it aside and let it dry completely. It is important that it is dry before you watercolor over it and try to remove it from the paper. It dries a little sticky and it is like smooth rubber on the paper. Now let's color the crystal heart. You can use the printed image as a guide how to color the parts divided by the lines. First I make the whole heart wet. I want to paint flow in the water. I don't want to color the parts evenly. I love the texture the watercolor creates with a wet on wet technique. This means you put wet paint on wet watercolor paper. Just touch the wet paper with the brush filled with paint and let the paint flow. I use colors next to each other on the color wheel. Shades of pink, orange, red and lilac. I mix new colors from the ones I have on my palette. More water means lighter colors and less added water makes more saturated colors. The paper dries fast, so most of the time I have to add water to the paper again before adding paint. Be aware that the paint stretches for a long time, so give it time before you add more paint. If you keep adding paint, then it will cover the whole area and you won't end up having texture. Now to the second card. Again, I make the whole card wet. Here I'm using blues and greens. I'm mixing new shades so I can color the triangles different that are next to each other. Simply use a towel or a piece of cloth to remove excess water from the paper or from the brush.
This is my crystal heart fully dry. Now I can remove the masking. Simply rub it with your fingertips and it comes down easily. Don't let it sit on the paper for days and use a good quality watercolor paper and it works perfect. I erase the pencil lines and fussy cut the whole image, leaving a narrow white border. I keep my stencils, word and shape ties and the little sentiment stamps from scrapbook.com in this beautiful 6x8 album. I'm cutting the word love several times. I want to use the cutouts on the background. You see my magic mat is well used. I love it and it still works just fine. I am adhering the words to the card base. It is a Nina Solo white card base from scrapbook.com. I love white on white. The edit texture is so beautiful. I decided to cut one more love word from colored cardstock. This I am adhering to the love at the bottom. I popped a painted heart on the base using the Big Mama foam adhesive from scrapbook.com. Such a great big roll. Finally, I don't have the fear from running out of foam adhesive. I'm using some drops from my stash. They look like water drops, really lovely. Finally, I adhere my card to colored cardstock. I love the dark border it adds. I hope you liked my final card and maybe you decide to try this fun technique. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section. You can find there the used materials with affiliate links. Clicking on them doesn't cost you anything, but if you buy products, I might get a tiny bit of commission. Thanks so much for your support, and I hope you will join me next time too. Have a great day, lovelies. Bye-bye.